Hi guys, in this video we're going to be going stage 3 on my Ford Fiesta ST. We're going to go over all the mods in this video, so stay tuned. So here is the new snail. This is the RT330 Turbo made by Turbo Technics. Um, it's an off-the-shelf turbo. That re it's all right, mate. I'll wait. This is my new hype. <laughs> He's just done that for the sake of it, isn't he? No. My finger slipped. How's it looking then, Chaz? So this here is a new turbo that I've gone for. It's an RT330, which I've picked up secondhand for 600 pounds. These turbos are made by Turbo Technics, made for Revo. That is an aftermarket turbo you can buy off the shelf. Um, there's a little thing online that say they do have boost surge. So I've gone ahead and bought myself a new actuator, which is a Collins Performance one. So I'm hoping this will keep up with all the boosts that this is gonna hold and hopefully not blow up. So we've got the stock turbo and the upgraded hybrid turbo side by side. You can see here, that's the intake for that one. It's quite a small size compared to that one, which is quite nice. Same with the actuator, different size as well. That's quite a different size, it's a bit small. That one's just a little bit bigger. Let's turn these round. So hybrid turbo, I mean, it's the same size as that one, but different internals. That's the exit for the exhaust, so pretty similar. Maybe just a little bit bigger in sizes here, but yeah. That's the size comparison side to side. Move out of the way. Moving on, we've got this AirTech 4 to 1 manifold, which you can see has been wrapped in titanium heat wrap. If you've been keeping up with my socials, you can see I've been doing that, which took forever, but it does look quite nice. Should sound pretty good as well. So we're also upgrading to some um, NGK spark rubs. These are Iridium ones, which will obviously help the engine perform better. And it's also due to have some new ones as well. These are Bosch 30% bigger injectors. It's 30% to be exact. I'm hoping to get a little bit more power with these. Um, it also helped the flow of it. And also it's just a thing to replace. I managed to pick these up for 300 quid second hand, which isn't too bad considering the cost of these are quite high. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. These also come with O-rings and all the kit that needs for it as well, which is from Ford, so that's very nice. Now look at this. So I've gone ahead and wrapped the boost pipes as well. Um, I bought this gold reflective heat tape from Funk Motorsports. This is the hot side, so this is what goes from your turbo, and that's the cold boost pipe, which goes to your inlet manifold. But look at that. Nice and shiny. So this here is the mid-size intercooler. This is MTC, which have made this one. It's quite thick, looks good front and back. I've gone ahead and sprayed it silver, as you can see from the spray on the cardboard. But yeah, quite a nice reasonable size. It's doubled up on the back as well. You think where you have your stock intercooler, it sits like that. So yeah, should be pretty good. Are you ready? Mm-hmm, that's it. Oh my god, camera can't even pick it up. Yeah, that's a bit of a comparison, isn't it? So is that bad then? No, I think you've pulled it just in time. <laughs> Thank see, God for see that. See where it's like pushing on it, look, and just worn it away. Yeah, so that was about to blow through then. Well, if they break up and go in your engine, that's your engine fucked. Which is, you can see it's on its way out, so it's good we've replaced that. Uh, new bits for the downpipe. We've also got a rocker cover to replace to stop that from leaking and a gasket here as well somewhere but Doing. Great success! <laughs> so these are the original injectors that came out the car. You can see here, slowly getting bad. Not in the best conditions, hence why I was looking to swap them out. That one's not too bad. That's okay-ish. But yeah, it's worth replacing. 
if you're looking to go stage three, just for more reliability of most things, so yeah. At last, finally, we got the last one out. What was it like, Chess Bastard? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> So yeah. Not too bad. <laughs> so yeah, not too bad. But yeah, all of them are out now, so it's just uh, putting the new ones in. So we've got one rocker cover off. You can see that is the old one. That must be leaking there somewhere. So we are getting ahead of it now. So everything's there. You can see the cams now. So finally got the bumper off, so the next plan is to take off that tiny little stage two in the cooler and we are going to fit that bad boy right there. Remember kids, get a catch can. Oh. So with the intercooler, you have to remove this top bolt here. That sits on there, and then the intercooler sits there like that. Are you excited for it, Chez? <laughs> 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 Boom, so it is on. So you can see the MTC intercooler is on very nicely. So yeah, sizable difference as you can see from the R Sports one. Definitely same kind of thickness, but obviously bigger height. But yeah, literally just tighten on that top bolt up here, top bolt. They just go on, obviously they need to go a bit higher because the old intercooler sits a bit below. But you can see the thickness of that boy. Lovely. So whilst I spend my money on upgrading my car, we've got Chez that's bought this. What is that, eh? What is that? Do you want to go turn it on? I want to see it. Oh my God. Snap on. The Gucci of mechanics. Here she goes, turn her on. Oh wow. Good that, isn't it? Oh, I love that. <laughs> that is absolutely phenomenal. How much that cost? Too much. <laughs> And you have to have it straight as well. <laughs> so that's it for part one of this build. Obviously, if you're enjoying it, make sure you click that like button down below. Comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one for part two. See you later.